things will not change so we look the at SMA really developed out of our experience seeing what wasn't available in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and the Gulf Coast disaster. We saw that there was no mechanism for social movements to come together, make decisions, and then implement those decisions in, uh, at the scale that was necessary to respond to that level of disaster. And so we kind of made co commitments to ourselves as relatively young organizers back in 2005 that part of our generational struggle was to figure out this question of movement governance and how can social movements come together, make decisions, and implement those decisions on a scale commensurate to the level of disaster and crisis that we're, we're facing. Part of the process that needs to be front and center within the Southern Movement Assembly is to connect with our brothers and sisters in the global south because there's so much shared um, cultural foundations but also shared uh, struggles uh, and, and, and so we can use that to build not only grassroots power in the U.S. South, but grassroots social movement power globally. What resonates for, for me is that, is that idea that uh, we can no longer wait until the state uh, came and do all, all, everything for us, you know. We, we must be able to build a civil society which is proactive which can found solution for our own problem in our own environment. In, in Lucha movement, we, we, we don't have any single leader. We have a core team, which is kind of um, playing a strategic role on the movement, but the, 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 the leadership is like a flat leadership. It's spread among many cells and many people. What Lucha is doing is um, by, by educating people, we are um, trying to end that feeling of powerlessness. We are working on founding our own solution. We are holding them accountable for what they are doing and what they are not doing. And we are make sure that they understand that if they don't do what they have to do, we will use our citizen power to make sure that they will face their responsibility and, and through election or through uh, mass demonstration that they will, uh, they, we will hold them accountable for their actions. Part of our struggle, certainly with Project South, has been uh, trying to connect to what we call the black radical traditions of the U.S. South. And we think now, because of what's happening globally, that history is very, very important to tap into today, both the, the idea of petitioning authorities for redress or, or, um, or change, but also, maybe even more importantly, creating what we need at the grassroots and providing that change for ourselves.